Does the Philippines really need nuclear power? Only 9 out of 10 Philippine households have access to electricity because of high electricity rates. Aside from this, many parts of the country experience frequent power outage. As of 2013, the Philippines' total power generation is 75.2 million megawatts per hour, where coal is the main source of Luzon's power demands, geothermal power for precise demands, and hydroelectricity for Mindanao's zero nuclear. The country's energy supply remains unstable according to the Department of Energy. Other options, Philippines has put aside BNPP, a power plant with big potential, for almost 40 years. At present, the primary source of carbon dioxide emissions is the burning of coal, natural gas, and petroleum for electricity. In contrast, nuclear power plants emit no greenhouse gases. What if the consumption of fossil fuel is reduced? The quality of air will improve. And along with this is also the improvement of the quality of life. This means people can avoid diseases. In practical units, the fission of 1 kg of uranium-235 releases 18.7 million kilowatt hours as heat. Unlike renewable energy such as wind, solar, and hydroelectric, nuclear power plant does not depend on the conditions around them to function. The main concerns about the production of nuclear fuel are safety, waste disposal of its radioactive waste, and expensive costs of maintaining the plant. But with the new technologies that are being developed, it can help for security. Radioactive waste can be contained where waste is kept into secure containers or reprocessed and used as fuel again. The high initial costs can be reduced by upgrading available plants like the Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Let us aim to sustain the needs of the present with the needs of the future generation in mind that we think is the future of nuclear energy in the Philippines.